Hello and good evening. It's a late one because it's been non-stop today, as I'm sure it has been in your life too. <laughs> so how has it been going for you? Um, thank you for following this journey. And I think I just wanted to recap for those of people that have kind of come in at different stages of these videos of why I'm kind of doing this and why I'm doing this daily. It's day 21, I can't believe it's been three weeks. Um, these have felt so natural to do now and I think I'd kind of miss them if I didn't do them. But the idea around this was to essentially document my journey of not only, of a new concept basically that I want to launch. So not only is it documenting the journey of kind of building that brand and showing all the behind the scenes, the nitty gritties behind that, but also my um, journey of actually living designedly, because that's the concept. The concept is about spreading this message of living and working designedly. And obviously I can't be doing that if I'm not doing it myself. So I'm kind of documenting two journeys. One is me actually doing it and then the other is um, building that brand and spreading spreading the word as far as I can possibly get it. So that's why I'm doing this video um, documentation and it's really interesting to get your feedback and your engagement on that because the support has been amazing so far so thank you so so much, um, it means an absolute ton to me. But also, you know, the ideas and the tips that you've been giving along the way, like all those things make such a big difference. And the more of that we can spread and share with everybody, um, the more people are going to be doing living design for themselves. So, yeah, very, very exciting. And today, this morning, I should have been doing work and planning and getting all of my kind of schedule up together for November. I try and do a whole month in advance so that I know like all the, all the kind of fundamentals, non-negotiables are in there. And I say non-negotiables, so I have family day on a Monday, and that's, that is something that we've always set as a non-negotiable so that we don't dip into work, both of us being self-employed. That's very easy to do. Um, so I go with that, and then, but this morning what happened is our drain was blocked. So we spent a lot of time sorting that out, which was not very glamorous. And don't worry, I don't have any footage to show you. So you're fine. <laughs> you're safe. You can relax. Um, and then I got a message from Claire, who obviously, as you know, is part of this journey of me living design is around my health, my fitness, uh, amongst a whole range of things. Okay, like how to just be a mum, <laughs> how to juggle two little kids. There's a lot of other stuff that come with comes with this as well, um, you know, like different aspects of life, but health is a big one. So Claire has sent me my workout this morning, so we kind of agreed at the beginning of the week that on Tuesday I was going to do a workout. Hi! So this is my workout for today, it's part of my Living Design Bee journey around health. And you can see, there are a lot of moments of um, having talks with myself, you know, okay. And the way I did it, the way I kind of got my focus and my mindset in the right game was like, just do 10 at a time. 10 at a time, if you need a break, have a break. If you don't, keep going, just do 10 at a time. Um, and then, you know, once you get past 40, you're over halfway. And it was that kind of constant talking to myself and getting myself motivated. Um, so I did it. I did it in a very slow 17 and a half minutes. Um, but the first time I've ever done them, that's my starting point. I know where I'm starting from and who knows where I'll be in a few months or a year, whatever it, it takes. Um, it can only get better, right? Surely. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. So yeah, this is kind of a long video today, but I do want to share... Um, what I've been doing this evening is working on, like I said, the schedule for November. And I always start, I'll have a pen and paper kind of girl. I like to see it, I'm very visual. And I kind of start with this blueprint. And everyone's gonna be like, Lauren, you don't do blueprints. But I start with like a, a foundation of what my average week would look like. So things like on a Tuesday and a Friday, Oliver goes to the nursery in the morning. So I put that in there. 
um, like any childcare or anything that I've got specifically, you know, planned in. Um, you know, when Jess works with me, I put that in there so I know that those things are like these things that just happen, they're part of routine. And then I started to look at, okay, if I wanted fitness and health to be part of my my everyday life, then I've got to start making that part of that routine. So um, I, was, I spoke to Ash about it. We looked at how we could maybe do things more as a family rather than individual. That might make it then easier because we don't always find the time to do these things, which I'm sure everybody's in that same boat. Um, so we looked at, okay, maybe we could do, you know, in the morning, because we're up early anyway, maybe we give ourselves half an hour where all of us, including Oliver and obviously Joshua when he can, and we just have fun and we get involved and we have a good time uh, and do do some sort of workout. So we looked at that, we talked about that and we planned that in together. Um, and I just, I think it's just so important to have that, for me anyway, to get my mind clear on, okay, this is now part of the routine and it doesn't mean it's going to happen like my intention is that it will happen because we've kind of made that a thing but I'm also aware that you know what the one day it doesn't it's okay it doesn't mean I'm just going to stop it just means that okay we didn't do it that day but we'll keep doing it and actually what I'm thinking is for November what I'll do is I'll plan them in and then I'll highlight them when I've done them so that at the end of November I can come back to documenting and talking to you about okay how many of them did we do compared to the zero we would have done if we hadn't had that conversation today so that's it if you want to know any more obviously please ask me some questions um but also you know share your the, your tips how you do it at home because actually not one you know my way doesn't work for everybody um, so the more and more people we get engaging on this, the more and more people that are sharing their ideas and their versions, the better. Because that way we can all learn and find new ways of doing things, which is what Living Design is all about. Like showing what's possible, it can be done. And there's the journey. So that's it for me. Sorry it's a long one. Have a fantastic rest of the week. Speak to you soon. Bye. -bye.